I just want to do a blessings and gratitude list for the new year. Some of my blessings are my family, which is a really big blessing. They are very supportive and accepting and loving and all that stuff of me. The friends I have, uh, which I will say over the years has shrunk to more faithful, more loyal friends uh, that actually show up for you and care about you. And then also with the family, I am very blessed and grateful for the Hermitage. Uh, and it is a beautiful acreage. That's the video you're watching now is from the Overlook at different times of the day. And it's just so nice to live in a little cell, which is what monks call monks and hermits call their living quarters as a cell. But my little living quarters, my camper, my cell, uh, it's nice to be able to wake up and just see all this beauty around you every single day and be able to relax and take your time and do your own thing. You're not forced to work in the world and be at this place at this time and do this for this long. That's just so beyond me. And I'm so blessed and grateful to be above and beyond that kind of lifestyle. With that said, I've devoted most of my life to faith, to my Catholic church. And as I've mentioned, being a lay Catholic hermit at the Holy Family Hermitage, uh, I feel that my, my vows of simplicity, and loyalty and purity are very important. Starting with purity, uh, a lot of people are so desensitized by immoral or immodest content. And basically any YouTube video I watch or anything I see or on TV or anything like that, I want to keep in my forefront, is this pure? Would everyone in my family, including the young children, be allowed to watch this? And if I ask myself that, and the answer is no, then I need to turn it off too. But there are still ways, like I'm a big horror fan, and the vintage horror, even though I wouldn't say it's completely pure, it is not as violent, realistically, as modern day horror. So for me, it's really the taste of media, whether it's music that is not pure, or videos, or movies, or podcasts that are not pure. Anything I hear, I say, I do, I see, I feel, I think, all of that, I will do my best to be pure. Along with that is to be simple. I don't want to be complex anymore. In my 20s, I was a very complex person. I want to be as simple and basic as I can be. I want to make every decision to be plain, simple, and humble. I don't want to care about myself as much as I used to, and I want to care about what I do for others more, how my actions how they affect others and that's what I want to make simple uh, and then finally the vow of loyalty I've mentioned that that is that if there's a if the bishop says something I want to do it if my parish priest says something I want to do it if my confessor or spiritual director says something I want to do it if my parents say something eh, I should do it <laughs> if the government says something I probably will do it and basically I just feel loyalty is a virtue that is lost in the society I feel the three things I just expressed, loyalty, simplicity, and purity, are completely lost on this day and age. And, like, again, even young children are exposed to things that aren't pure in context-wise on the internet. And that is frightening. It's, it's like, the fact that this whole world is consumed at every age by impurity, that, for me, is a sign to my soul that I need to get away from that. And I need to try to be... Uh, a guide to those who I care about. So simplicity and purity are very important to me because again, like I said, in my younger years, I was very complex. I was very difficult and outspoken. And I want to be the opposite of that. I want to be quiet. I want to be uh, simple and plain, basic. Uh, like there's that whole, you're basic. No, I really want to be basic. Like I would like to be predictable where if someone's making me a sandwich or a meal, they'll know what I want without asking. So I'm trying to get to a very basic lifestyle. And that also includes food. Purity and simplicity also mean food. So I'm only eating pure and simple meals. So fast food or a lot of complex stuff that you can buy, processed and all that, no more. Pure and simple. That purity and simplicity and loyalty will, I hope, cover and consume every aspect of my existence so that I will be loyal to those who need my loyalty. I will be a simple and pure person for myself and those around me. I'm just, I can't believe how much this world is impure or like complex. Like everyone's, everyone's saying to be this, your own person and be unique and all that, which is good. But you also want to be able to fit into society. And for me, the opposite of what I was is basic and pure and simple and plain and loyal to my family, faith and friends. So 
Oh, and, and also the government. Uh, basically, I'm a patriot. I think patriotism in its purest form is a virtue of all Catholics all over the world. Uh, and I feel that uh, obeying the authority of my government is just as important as obeying the authority of my church.